All right, guys, this is a uh, little uh, recording um, about how to use set CPU. So let me show you here. Here's set CPU. I'm going to go in here. And uh, so basically what you got here is you can set this at boot so that your phone will run at a certain CPU uh, speed. So you can adjust your max here like this, and you can adjust your mins. Okay, so you can set it whatever you want, and then you can hit set uh, set uh, set on boot. You can also adjust your governor, which is down here, and pick a governor that you like. If you want to know more about these governors, I suggest Googling them. Uh, it really is easy. It'll explain it to you a little better. So I have performance, and then you can look at your, your uh, I.O. scheduler, and I like the uh, CFQ. So that's what I got set there. So, you have those options. Um, under Profiles, we can do um, some pretty cool things here. Here's one I've already made. Basically, if my battery gets down to 15% uh, or lower, um, my uh, CPU is going to turn down to uh, 800 MHz, 800 to 300 instead of 1,000 to 300. So, it just, it just slows down your CPU so you're using less battery. So that's a profile you can do. Let me show you how you add a profile. You hit this uh, little plus button up here. And then um, we hit the other plus button. And then you can pick um, different things. If you want it, like uh, for temperature, if your phone gets too warm, you can change the CPU speeds to let it cool down so it's not running so much. Um, your screen, you turn your screen off. You want your CPU, CPU to, to go uh, lower. So here we'll give you an example of that. So we'll do uh, screen off all right screen on, screen off so it screen off we'll save that so screen off there you go hit next down here we want our CPU to go down to 600 and 300 so screen off it goes to there we want we can even change our performance you know we want to go from performance to uh, on demand and then we are going to keep our scheduler the same we can hit it where it'll show us a notification of it We'll just leave that, and then we'll hit it. And then this is the priority level of um, the higher the priority level on these schedulers, the one that's going to kick in over something else. So we want our battery to kick in before our off-screen one does. So I'm going to leave our batteries at 50. So this is 49. So our battery is priority over this off-screen scheduler. So we'll hit it. So there, there's another schedule. So I have two schedules in my phone right now. Um, but you can put as many as you want. You just got to set priority levels as to what's going to take priority over what. So that's pretty much what you got there. Um, this is a governor thing. There's, there's more settings in here, but you have to be running a governor that supports it. I'm using performance, and it doesn't support it right now. So there's other settings in there if you wanted to mess with those. But you have to be under uh, a governor that allows it. I'll just show you really quick. It's on demand. So we'll go to on demand down here, and then uh, we'll switch over. So here you go. Under governor now, you got some uh, different little things you can adjust. Um, you know your up threshold, sampling rate, that kind of stuff. You can adjust it now under the governor. So we have info, um, just a lot of information on your phone. Uh, you can see your time time slate. This shows you what you're running the most. You know I obviously run. A thousand megahertz, pretty much all the time, and then three, 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 uh, three hundred megahertz, just every a little bit there, and then these other ones just very little because it, because performance gets you from three hundred to a thousand fast. So that's why we're not running that six or eight that much. So, so you can kind of look at that on the graph there. Um, you can see your memory, total memory up on top. You can just kind of see what everything's moving at if you want. Um, see here, CPU, we can see that, what it's running at. See what it's doing. Uh, device and kernel information. It's my Droid Bionic here. So uh, you can see those things. And then you can do bench scores, run bench scores on the speed. You can do a stress test to stress out the CPU and see how well it handles that. 
Um, so a lot of little, little features you can do here. Um, about phone, there's about the developer, and what, uh, or I should say about set CPU, um, his information on there. So the biggest thing that you really can do with this that makes it really nice, this app is really neat, is the, the profiles. By putting all these different like parameters in here, you can basically make that CPU do exactly what you want when you want it to do it and make it all automated. It's basically what you're doing. So, and being able to uh, adjust what it runs off of boot. You know, if you want it to just max out and run all the time, a thousand, then you can. It'll run a one gig processor constantly. So, um, those are options you can do. I go back to performance. I like to leave mine just pretty much. This is pretty much stock right here, but if you want to mess with it, you can. Um, and like I say, the profiles are very, very nice. Uh, neat, 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 neat things you can do on there. It'll some by setting some of these profiles, you also save battery life. So, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's uh, pretty much set CPU and how to set profiles and uh, do some tweaking there. Pretty nice for checking out your processing speed. Thanks.